Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrintInfoTech.com and on this video we're going to look at the steps to upgrade Windows 7 to Windows 10, preserving your data and some of your apps and settings. Whether you're trying to move from an old version of the operating system or you simply want to take advantage of a more connected and secure OS, you can use these steps. But before we move on, although Microsoft have been improving the upgrade process to Windows 10, there are always chances that the upgrade will fail. As such, it is always recommended to make a full backup of your data in case of something goes wrong. Also, to reduce the chances of upgrade problems, it is recommended to uninstall any software such as antivirus, security software, and all third-party applications that may prevent you from successfully upgrade to Windows 10. You should also disconnect any hardware connected to your computer, including printers, phones, camera, external hard drives, and any other USB peripherals, which sometimes they can be the reason why your system fails during the upgrade. Now that we have all this out of the way, we can proceed with the installation. The easiest way to move from Windows 7 to Windows 10 is to do an in-place in -place upgrade using the Microsoft Media Creation Tool. To get that tool, you need to go to this Microsoft website, and don't worry, I'll be leaving the link on the uh, video description below. Once you're on this page, click the download button and start the tool. Here's a quick tip. If you have an older version of Internet Explorer, you probably won't be able to access the Microsoft Download website. If this is the case, you will need to use a different web browser, such as Google Chrome or Firefox. On this page, click the Set button, select the Upgrade this PC Now option, and click Next. In order to update your Windows 7 installation, you will need a new valid Windows 10 product key. If you don't have one, I will be leaving the link on the video description where you can purchase a product key. Once you enter the product key and the setup has checked that it's a valid license, click the next button. Click accept again. Before clicking the install button, make sure that the setup is listing the edition of Windows 10 that you intending to install. And also make sure the uh, keep personal files and apps is listed on this page. If it is not, you have to click the uh, change what to keep and make sure to select the option that you want. And also before I click the install button, I'm going to make sure to close any running applications. And now you can proceed with the installation. The installation could take anything between 15 to 30 minutes and even more the, depending on your device and throughout the process, the uh, computer will restart several times. Once the installation has completed, you will need to choose your privacy settings for the device. Here you can review those settings and turn them off as you like, and then click the Asset button. As you can see, we successfully upgraded Windows 7 to Windows 10. And as you can see on the desktop, I had Google Chrome installed previously, and it remains on this installation. Also, you want to go to the Settings app and make sure that your computer is activated, as you can see right here. And then just go to Windows Update and make sure to check to make sure that, that you have the latest Windows 10 updates installed on your computer. If you uninstall any applications before proceeding with the upgrade, make sure to reinstall them again and reconnect all the peripherals that you may have also disconnected. And that's how you upgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 7. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.